Good afternoon, people. Shabbat Shalom to all of my Israelites who have awakened to your knowledge of self and who you are. Um, I want to make this a uh, uh, short video. And uh, I haven't said much about uh, the election of President Donald Trump um, because um, my opinion was put forth um, during the uh, voting process, the campaigning, and I've been this way for uh, some years now. I didn't even vote for Obama, even though... Um, I had received uh, a word that he would be president. Um, and I experienced the uh, joy and excitement that everyone else uh, experienced knowing that we had a black president. Uh, but uh, my position has been for a long time now us being all involved in their politics and their government and looking at it as it's our politics and it's our government and being afraid that we'll be called a terrorist or anti-American all of that has never phased me has never moved me because it's not who someone declares you are or someone alleges that you are um, that makes you who you are it's who you are that makes you who you are it's what you have determined about yourself that makes you who you are saying that to say all of the um, rigmarole about politics and presidents and voting it's your privilege to do that on the level that you feel as an American, Democrat or Republican, that's your privilege to do that. But when you come from the premise that you are created in the image of the Most High and you understand how you were created and who you are because of your creation, then you govern your life by what's written in the scriptures, in the Torah, Old Testament as we've been taught to call it in Christianity. And one of the instructions uh, to our ancestors was that in the land of your oppressors, you shall not choose a king. Now, anyone who wants to deny that this is oppression, then I can't really, I can't relate to where you're coming from. But according to documented history in the Torah, we were banished from the promises. We were cursed because of our disobedience. And the only thing that is going to get us back is us returning not to Christianity, us returning to what was given to our ancestors. In recognizing who our ancestors are, you get your assignment, you get your word on how to handle these uh, political things. Now, here's the reason why I'm making this video. I'm making this video and it's gonna be real brief I want to play something for you. I want you to hear some of the protests. Thank <laughs> you. 
up on the bridge now. Do you hear that? I'm just gonna get my body on this pedestrian walkway up here. Oh shit. Now, I'm going to try to post the link. I'm going to try to paste the link into this video I made. Uh, if I can't paste it in, then I'll just uh, put it in the uh, uh, comment, uh, the title of the editorial on this video. The, but, you guys, these protests that I have seen, you might find maybe two <laughs> dark people in there in, in, in maybe two per hundred I don't know I've seen some brothers walking around on the videos you know not looking like they're knowing what they're doing whatever but these are Caucasian people protesting this the majority of these people are Caucasian people. I have not seen a riot, a protest, colored <clears throat> like the color on the Black Lives Matters protests or the civil rights marches or the it, any any protests that our people have been involved in. And now I don't know what this is going to spawn, but you know people are talking about civil war. Well, we weren't a part of the civil war the first civil war here and uh, America has always had civil wars America is divided um, the whole idea of us having something to do with Trump's election Hillary Clinton's election or any president is total ridiculousness and um, I think where we're coming to is a definite closure, a pivotal, very, very, very pivotal place. Uh, most people would say in this culture, I would say in the revealing of his kingdom and who our people are. You see, this is something that really, really uh, disturbs a lot of uh, our own people and a lot of Caucasians. As you guys know, uh, some of you have been listening to my messages, I don't believe that the Most High was speaking to any other nation other than us in the Bible. It's not there. You cannot find him speaking to anyone other than Israel. It's not there. Now what was created that most of us grew up in is um, a most high uh, a God who uh, diminishes Israel and puts Christians now uh, uh, at his that those are his choice those are the chosen those are, and that's not so uh, I'm saying that to say that what you're seeing now in America and it's spreading it's all over the world but what since we live here what you're seeing now in this America is you're seeing the purging, the purging of a system and a, a culture that has been most cruel, most cruel, more cruel than any nation in the world to the children of Israel. You're seeing that. And as you're seeing here in this video, as you'll see in the video, and you, you can Google it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Google the purge. Riots in the USA after Donald Trump win. Compilation. Google that. And it's on YouTube. You guys, these are... Caucasian people and you guys have to you, you guys have to pull yourself out of 
these political and social um, arguments and, and, and <laughs> that have nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. I mean, really, you, 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 you're going to have to understand that this is not your fight. These people up here are protesting one of their own winning an election over one of their own. And <laughs> when you don't take up your responsibility to distinguish yourself from all of the ills and <laughs> calamity of a fractured culture, you find yourself aimlessly wandering in that like a few of those uh, so-called black people speckled in there. So-called, again, I'm qualifying uh, my understanding of who I am, understanding of who I believe you are by not calling you black. If there's any people that are white <laughs> in all creation, it's us. Because we have been the purest, the most distinguished, and the most persecuted by blackness and ugliness, even so much to the point that we begin to label ourselves black. See that? Black, that's black guy. Label ourselves black because we bought into the psychological term and the 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 um, the persuasion that is something wrong with us and those of you who reject the bible or those of you who read the bible from a christian perspective you don't see that the curse that was put upon us is legitimate it's legitimate, it's effective, it's powerful, and I dare any black conscious person, conscious person, or um, informed person, knowledgeable person about our people, I dare them to find anything that refutes the validity of this curse. All of our leaders have died under it. All of our leaders, though even those of our leaders who um, knew that there was an oppression on us, there was an antagonist antagonism against us, that even though uh, Caucasian people perpetrated it, they don't have the power to keep it going. All of the little things that you see them doing. They are only being allowed to do that until their time is up. And what you're seeing is you're seeing their time being up because you are literally seeing in your lifetime the culmination of all things, the things that no one wants you to know. That this is all about you. And you are oppressed in this thing because you are still trying to find your way to recognizing who you are. And when you look at uh, civil unrest by them, for them, and against them, in other words, though them protesting against themselves, you're looking at a nation of people that really don't know what they're doing. They're controlled by a spirit that knows who you are. A lot of these people, they don't know who you are. They don't know who they are. They think that you're black and they're white. I mean, really, you know, and you guys, some of you, I know you may think I'm just playing with words and all of that, but you're going to have to peep the science one day in your life. Or you're going to just keep going around in circles in a process that you don't understand. And for those of you who this seems like it's uh, verbal gibberish and, you know, 
uh, complicated um, communication or tricky communication, this is very simple. This is Bible 101. See, that's why I don't get into uh, people who have a lot of things to say about the Bible. Uh, everything from it's a book of symbolism, it's fairy tales, it's filled with euphemisms, and uh, the things in the Bible are allegories and comparisons. None of it, none of it is true, and uh, Jesus is a fictional character, and all of that, and. Uh, what people have done with the name Jesus, I would say that's uh, plagiaristic. Uh, it's plagiarism. It's uh, fictitious from a standpoint of it does not have any literary, linguistic integrity or merit. In other words, uh, that's not a literal name, and the language that was created to justify that name doesn't exist. Uh, in our culture, the Hebrew alphabet, which none of us are familiar with, some of us are, and even those of us who are familiar with it, most of us did not go back and get it from a source that is responsible for and holds claim and right to the Hebrew language. Uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, historically, the so-called black man, the melanated man, the deeply melanated man, uh, has um, has the claim, an historical uh, claim to Hebrew. And if you want to know why this is true, and you say, no, well, I see uh, uh, John Rosenblum, he speaks Hebrew, and uh, the Steins, they speak Hebrew, and well, these are Germanic people. These are people who stem from the Khazars, the men responsible for uh, taking what they call Judaism and ascribing it to themselves. And it is typical of Caucasians to do this. It, you have to look at the science of how men conquer how men take, how men preeminate themselves. That's a word I create created. In other words, they make themselves preeminent. They're not preeminent, but they make themselves preeminent. They make themselves supreme. They put themselves in a position. Now, mind you, they only have the power to do that because you disobeyed and you broke covenant with your creator. Not me. I didn't do nothing. I understand. I understand. But you come from a line of people that did. And, you know, just getting to my point about the Bible, it's simple. It's simple if you believe the simple. The simple is this, that your dark self stemmed from the dark people, everybody in that time and in the regions described in that Bible were all dark. But there was a particular dark person that was chosen and a covenant was made with that person and you see it throughout creation at different dispensations when he would purge the world he would come back and reestablish his covenant with a man look it up read it with a man who was righteous because they trusted him they walked in faith with him look it up Adam then after Adam happened again with Noah then after Noah, it happened again with Abraham. Then after Abraham, it happened again with Isaac. And then after Isaac, it happened again with Jacob. And so forth and so on. These were all dark men. Okay? They didn't look like uh, um, uh, Mexicans or the, the, the type of look that you have. They didn't look Turkish. They didn't look like any of these people that occupy that land in the East, the Middle East, that occupy that land that was once considered uh, a part of Africa, Egypt, and you know, all of the things that men have done. That book plainly sets forth who you are and it actually predicts 
the unrest that you're seeing now it prophesied it spoke of it oh there are other books that spoke of it too you know that's not the only book to buy. This, this was written thousands of years well you know what that may be true but I don't have time to research it as a matter of fact I don't have no desire to research it because I don't want to spend my whole life researching you only got so much time here you need to find out who you are you can research things to the point of oblivion. Now, what we need to do is just disengage from all of the rigmarole and the, the foolishness that we're invited to engage in every four years. You know, and it's like you got to stop living in fear. You know how I can see fear? I can see fear in these protests. I can see fear among us when we are afraid to establish ourselves as independent, first in our minds and then amongst one another. You've been distinguished anyway. You've been distinguished, set aside, set apart anyway. I mean, look at the history of this thing. It was okay to bring you over here and make you work and accumulate the wealth that you would never, you would never, ever be able to take advantage of. It was okay to do that. Then it was okay after one side of the nation felt that there was an economic imbalance and that the South was capitalizing and the North, though there was slavery over here too, but the North was not getting the benefit of slavery. There was too much power coming up in the South. Do your history, read it. So it was okay now to get rid of this divide and get rid of this slave problem. Okay? Wasn't gonna make you uh, equal now. Wasn't gonna see to it that once you were out of slavery, you really got that 40 acres in a mule and you were really detached and they really started over without you and without the benefit of your work and they paid you for whatever. So when it was decided to get rid of that slave problem. But if you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps and it's documented it's documented, it's historical fact. If you pull yourself up by your bootstraps, like they said you should do, after they brought you over here with no boots, <laughs> it was okay for them to destroy everything you built. Do your research, do your history. Don't ignore this. Don't, don't look at your brothers like, we're just dwelling on the past when we keep bringing this up. Because when you are afraid to look at this, when you look at this like people are bringing things up from the past, it shows and it demonstrates to you that you are afraid to take responsibility for your life without leaning on the politics, the antics, the reluctance and the manipulation of the people that run this country. It's why most of you will, you, you jam somebody up if they vote for a different candidate than you uh, and then don't get into uh, the issue of um, somebody not picking a candidate at all. You jump all over them. That's because you're irresponsible. 
You're irresponsible with your history, your responsibility, and who you are and how things actually play out for you century after century, whether you vote or not. And if you just look at the pattern of the games, okay, segregate from them. Okay, integrate. It's like a pacifier has been in front of you. You're seeing the end of that now. I told you in a prophecy, uh, you know, my daughter, uh, Deliverance, Andrea, those little women are filled with prophecy. I mean, prophetic things, things we haven't even written, things we haven't even shared. Those, those little sisters' dreams, some of you who had experience uh, in our past, uh, in our uh, congregation with Eldridge Broussard, rest my brother's beautiful soul, uh, pray for his peace and paradise. Um, most of you know the history and the legacy of the dreams and the words and the visions that ran through that place, that experience, uh, at the time where we were at our most are compliant with the Most High. We were in obedience. Every group, every uh, church group, every group of believers goes through a time of disobedience, falling away, captivity, and things happen when that happens. But uh, that's another subject. I don't want to get onto that. There have been dreams and prophetic visions that have run through my family. And this is a fulfillment of one of those words that came out of the house of Roosevelt Brown, servant of the Most High, is that these people would begin to turn on one another. A lot of them are going to kill one another. Why are you guys scared of that? You're afraid of that. You shouldn't be. These people have been the most terroristic people on the face of the planet. That's not an accusation, that's a fact. If I were accusing them, I would be bringing them before court and saying, I charge you, I charge you, I charge you, I charge you. I don't have to charge them with anything. They've demonstrated, especially in this election, that they commit the crimes and then they charge themselves. Because you're not going to tell me those protests are anything other than people holding court. It doesn't matter that they don't have robes. It doesn't matter that they don't have gavels. It doesn't matter that they're not being paid by the government. They are holding court on the streets. And they are demanding. I've heard everything from uh, protests. Uh, one of these uh, videos that I watched, it was a actually actual killing. And, um, you know, these people have, have, have judged themselves, and they are judging themselves. And for those of you who are afraid of or feel like, you know, Rose, you're inciting a riot, and say, oh, <laughs> see, that's where you got to, <laughs> I want to do my Denzel on you right there. <laughs> my brother. What is wrong with your mind? What are you thinking? How are you thinking, brother? Listen, you guys, you got to do some serious, serious introspective thinking on yourself. This whole thing is a mechanism that is going, that has nothing to do with you as it relates to their cultural Manipulation, politicking, capitalizing, but it has everything to do with you as far as the plan of the Most High is in wooing you back to Him. Because if you don't come back to Him the way He said come back to Him, not the way you were taught in theological seminary training or in the black church, what a lot of these preachers are presiding over that are saying nothing, nothing about the dissemination of our people amongst these people. We are divided in a illusion 
of inclusion, we are divided from one another and we've always been divided from them. And I dare anybody, I dare anybody to prove this wrong. History and the current situation proves that it is exactly true. I think most people voted for Hillary. Most of our people. You have some of us who voted for Donald Trump. Again, like I say, I voted for neither. Um, but look what you got. And now don't write things off. You guys might get Hillary. You might get Obama a third term. I don't know. I don't care. Because I'm not preoccupied. And you shouldn't be. Yeah, you shouldn't be. I know. I know. A lot of you, you know, this is what really, this is what really is amazing to me. What's really amazing to me is how many arguments we get in over Trump and Hillary. I'm going to tell you something. If Donald Trump does what he says he will do with economy, <laughs> no, I don't even want to say that. Because I don't want any of you guys saying, see, I knew you were a Trump supporter and all of that. And it wouldn't matter to me if you said that anyway, because I know who I am. And I don't have nothing to prove to you and you don't have anything to prove to me but you do have a responsibility to save yourself from this wicked generation and put things in perspective and see if when you stand before your creator what is going to matter most what president you voted for or what you did on behalf of your eternal security and your responsibility to be your brother's keeper while you were here on earth and I'll take it even to a place more immediate than you standing before him we're rapidly coming to a time in this culture where you'll probably see another civil war as a matter of fact the world is going to be in civil war World War III is coming. You're seeing what creates World War. What you see in America. Selfishness. Infighting. Take yourself out of the ostrich mentality when you look at war and unrest and man's responsibility to govern himself. Take yourself out of the ostr ostrich mentality and look at the world from the scope of how you were created to look at it. You were created to look at the world through the eyes of the Most High. You weren't created to look at the world through the eyes of any man that has oppressed you or any man that doesn't agree with you or any man that you think is wise. You were created to look at the eyes at, at the world, I'm sorry, through the eyes of the one who created you. So look at the world that way. Though it's a big, vast space, man is infighting. And if you want to know what creates world war, look at the infighting that goes on in America. People don't like black people. People don't like white people. 
people don't like white people who don't agree with them. People don't like black people. Black people don't like black people who don't agree with them. And then the upper class or the elite within the society of America controlled by another elite somewhere are going to keep their foot on everybody. Black, white, brown, yellow, all this little color class stuff that people are doing. And that's where you have unrest and war. And then bring it home. All of the unrest and uncertainty in you is the reason why. You got protesting. Trump, Hillary. I say this. It's all your fault. For those of you saying Donald Trump is president, is this person's fault? Is your president is the fault of the person that didn't vote? It's the fault of the person that um, voted for him, and we didn't do what we should by Hillary and all that. It's all your fault. And the only way you make it not your fault is you disengage and bind yourself to the responsibility that you were created with. And believe it or not, it had nothing to do with voting for no president. We're in a new day now. We're in a new day now and we're coming to the end of things. And men whose mouths are running about the Most High and men whose mouths are running about God and all that. I will even say this, you know, those of you Christians who believe uh, in Jesus, I believe in the same person you believe in. It's just the semantics of his name. My mama taught me about Jesus. And I will always, I will always understand and know what my mama taught me and when I talk to my mama, I don't try to get into it with her. I get into a mess every time I try to get into it with my mama and call uh, her, his name in a Hebrew tongue, which you guys, you guys see me evolving on here. You can see my videos talking about Jesus uh, five years ago. You know, uh, I'm evolving. I don't have time to be trying to tell you what God is saying. I can tell you what God is doing and I can tell you what you have a responsibility to do. But then the way you do that, that's you. Ain't nobody following me. Okay. And I'm not looking for followers. Okay. So you see me here speaking the truth to you and conveying to you what's clearly in the Bible. You take responsibility for the nature that he created you with and the dominant authority that he blessed you with and you walk from there well if you do that that ain't gonna leave you no room for being caught up in nobody's isms schisms uh murder hatred or it ain't gonna leave you no room for that it gets, and it's not gonna leave you any room for anyone accusing you it may be in their mind but accusing you of being a hater because you look at things the way they are in the bible and you compare them to what we've been told about our creator and you say uh-uh this don't work and for those of you who would call someone like me as uh spreading division hatred uh loving all people and all of that that's because you're uninformed and it doesn't matter what you call me. It's what I call myself. And I'm not going to call you anything. But I am going to say this is what the word says about what is happening. This is what the word says about what we should be doing. And if you can't refute that, then... You don't have a responsibility to me. You just have a responsibility to yourself to live in the truth that you find to be the truth. And we get along from there. Anyway, 
Long story short, because this is much longer than I wanted it to be, and I still want to put the link up to that video on here. Whether you call him Jesus or not, whether you believe that you have the authority that is written in that Bible or not, you're going to keep finding yourself tangled up if you keep allowing yourself to be defined by and defining your brother by what he does in this culture that is only proven to you that it is oppress you every four years it'll come and woo you when it wants something for from you but then after that four year period I mean after that election is over and all that is over it settles you back into you being deprived oppressed and shunned put aside and all I'm saying to you is you don't distinguish yourself from the whole world and look at yourself as being the people that have covenant with the Most High you're going to be on every political, every social, every terroristic search that these people are on. For instance, uh, I had someone saying that, you know, now things are going to get worse for us since Trump is it. Uh, you know, you shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that. If I were you, I would have uh, Isaiah 35 and 4 in my mind. I would have Second Chronicles. We read them. Read them. I'm not going to quote them to you. You read them. Go and read them. Do your study. Do your research. One of the reasons why I don't put a whole lot of scripture on here is because it, 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 it takes me time to study and to do scripture and to read scripture. And the time that I spend reading scripture, all of this that I got, it comes from scripture. But most of us, you, you don't study the Bible for yourself. And when you tell someone, show me that in the Bible, I, I've seen people, I, I spent years doing this. By, so by the time I was on Facebook, I stopped Bible uh, flipping people. Because you can't refute what I'm saying if you just look at what's happening in society. So me getting you a, a bunch of scriptures in King James English that you've had the privilege to study on your own. You've had the privilege to read on your own. And some of these scriptures, the fact that you don't know them, it just lets me know you ain't been reading the Bible as much as you say you are, or as much as you should be. And me, I'm just like you. I don't read the Bible as much as I should. I find myself caught up in things and uh, dealing with things, dealing with uh, Bank of America and dealing with all this crap in this culture and society. Why am I going to be sitting around it's giving you the Bible and giving you the scripture to prove to me that that's in there after I've studied hard, after I go, sometimes I do it, you know, I go up here and pull up something on Google and, you know, just because uh, sometimes sitting in here reading, you know, I don't feel like going and uh, straining to look at the Bible, the uh, printing the Bible and all of that. I save my eyes strain for when I'm reading, when I'm studying. But anyway, look up the scriptures that tell you you shouldn't be worried about this. Second Chronicles chapter 14 verse 7 Psalm 91 Isaiah I will keep him in perfect peace Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me It don't fit we're worrying about what's going on in this society. This is civil unrest. Now you don't let them pull you into it. Don't find yourself in a Trump. This is what I tell you not to do. Don't find yourself in a Trump rally, uh, a, a, a Trump protest march. I'm looking at that 
uh, Trump protests march and I'm seeing these people on here um, they had a movie The Purge I saw one person commented on a mortgage derivative uh, page a page that I'm associated with and I saw one person comment uh, and saying the protests have started the racist hatred and bigotry this is a Caucasian woman protesting and uh, wait a minute, let me, let me I, I just gotta I just gotta see this I gotta I gotta where is this at Look at this. And I'm not going to call the person's name because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get into anything with them. I don't. I, but look, look at this. This is a Caucasian woman. We have to strive for morality, not this. And uh, she's talking about the, it says, the defeated left turns to hate. Liberals unleash, unleash beatings, death threats, and calls for the assassination of Donald Trump. Okay? And um, it's www.naturalnews.com. You can see it if you want. But here's her, here's her comment. We have to strive for morality. Not this. Now that the voters have wholly rejected the Clintons and the corrupt establishment, the real character of the left is on full display. Today, angry liberals are turning to extreme violence and hatred, calling for the killing of Trump supporters, the assassination of Trump, and the bloody beatings of all whites. These are white people leading these protests. What is this lady talking about? Yes, the racism, violence, bigotry, and hate. She has it in all uh, large uppercase letters, capital letters. Yes, the racism, violence, bigotry, and hate of the left has finally come out of the closet racism and bigotry coming out of the closet you people you dark skinned people you better come out of this world system because I'm going to tell you something you have people and not because they're white they're not white but not because they're Caucasian you have people that are against you because the Most High is chastising you. And these people are out of their minds. I'm not saying they're right. See, this is how your creator is. Your creator will use the whole world like a pimp. Why not? He created everybody. Now, yeah, that sounds real harsh to you, huh? I don't want to offend you too much, but you keep it up. This culture is going to do beyond offend you. Okay? But anyway, you, you got a creator who will use you and use this whole world like a pimp because he created it and let me let you know what I mean when he uses it by, like a pimp he'll get you out there to do what is needed to chastise his people and then he'll deal with you for it and you won't be able to blame it on him you guys you gotta read the bible and you gotta come out of this uh, religious controlled European mindset this is a European mindset right here yes the racism violence bigotry and hate of the left has finally come out of the closet these people are in this uh, democratic republican left wing right wing thing with themselves and they're all to the left you're the only one right if you want to know your responsibility and then live up to your responsibility as the chosen people of the most high and I don't care who gets angry about this no one has been able to be historically distinguished as oppressed and as chosen like the so-called black man show me 
And it's time that you look at the signs and start coming over to where you're going to be protected in these end times. So this is total blindness here. Total blindness. The racism, violence, bigotry, and hate of the left has finally come out of the closet. Since when, though, have we been, see, people want to call us racist and all that. This is why I say a black man or a man, a, a man of color can never be racist. You did not create that. Okay? And this, is, this is how these people do. They create something, they function in all the evil of that thing, and then they say, oh yeah, and then we're going to put that on you too. We created it. We're going to do all the evil associated with it, and then we're going to label you with it. And I'm telling you, some of these people, I've blocked some of these people, some people on my son's page, blocked the hell out of them. Blocked the hell out of them. Because, you know, they are always quick to jump on this black-white thing when you are just responding as a person who, wait a minute, I see now where I've been letting myself be victimized. I don't even blame them for nothing. I don't, I don't get in blaming white people for what you've done to me. What you've done to my people, you are going to eat all of that. Every bit of it, every murder and all that, they're going to eat all of that. But I'm not preoccupied with that. I'm preoccupied with being who I know to be so that I can have all the protection from that that is mine and first and foremost so that I can get all the benefits that were set forth in me I mean set forth for me when my creator my father covenanted with my ancestors who were not Christians they were the twelve tribes of Israel, Jacob. And it should be if you will hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God and observe to do all that I command you, I will set you high above all other nations and all of these blessings shall overtake you. Now, you guys, turn off that Christian autopilot mindset that comes to your head when you hear that verse. Because it has nothing to do with tithing, hanging out in some church, hearing words from a pastor, enriching himself off of your faith. These men will pay for that because most of us you can tell what is wrong with that doctrine you see every now and then these preachers popping up in these messes and I'm not judging any of them I've been in my messes too tempted to go back in the mess so I'm not judging any man all that I'm just saying you look at what it has gotten us. We still can have preachers divided. I'm voting for Hillary. I'm voting for Trump. You're a man of God. You got a congregation of people under you. And you are dealing with men who your creator said, do not choose yourself king in the land of your oppressor. And they can just tell you anything. And they can do anything to create unrest between you and your brothers. <laughs> this one might be longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to stop. Um, I hope that you get something out of this. This is not the time to be caught up in what's going on. 
This is a time to have your eyes open so you can be counted worthy to escape the things that are coming on this earth. This is a part of it. You're not going to be adept at what you should be adept at when the Messiah returns. You're not going to be ready if you're wrapped up in all of this stuff. What if he came when people were protesting Donald Trump? What if he came when people were lauding and praising Hillary Clinton? Israel, it's time for you to pull out of this. I'm not going to read no more. I'm not going to read no more <coughs> of this lady's comment. But you guys pay attention. Pay attention. You're not racist. You can never be racist. The Most High does not see men as racist and he does not see you as a racist if you pull out of this wicked preoccupation with politics and manipulation that goes on in this culture. Stop fearing truth. Stop letting yourself be separated from your people because you're manipulated one way in this game and they are another way in this game. And stop getting angry and emotional and involved in arguments that don't have nothing to do with you. After your energy is used from a vote or a press conference or an endorsement, it's business as usual. Get in the back seat. We'll think about you. Maybe. Okay, you be blessed. I'm going to see if I can put a link to this and get it ready to post up for you. Till the next time, love you now. And for those of you who understand, Shabbat Shalom, my loved ones. See you next time.